Well, hello and welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes 5-5 Grand Arena. Uh, Doya's second opponent for the week is Jojo. And Jojo is from Rebel Force Scarif. They did not play or didn't care for Gak, I guess, back in the day. He's only a 430,000 legacy score. And they got 11.1 .1 million GP. However, they are already attacking and they have cleared the south zone. Interesting. Did they drop anything? No, they didn't drop a single thing. All right, then. Well, it puts a little pressure on me, doesn't it? Okay, so we've got Dash, we've got Kellerin, Qui-Gon, we've got an extremely defensive heavy Lord Vader team, Adrad. Um, and we've also got Ray and Gas down south, Darth Malgus, and Sauna. Interesting. Um, what is this Ray team, though? Okay, so tenacity, crit avoidance, crit damage, and the protection up. I'm gonna err to the side of caution and just do Leia instead of Star Killer. I know I did Star Killer on my main earlier, but at the same time, that wasn't with tenacity baked in for me to worry about. So, yeah. I'd rather be safer than sorry and just overkill the team. I know it's kind of subjective, but you know. Alright, um, let's go ahead and do that, I guess. Um, we do have JTR here, which is going to be extremely annoying. So. Oh, cool. I love healing immunity on my characters. Very cool. Now let's give that to Leia. Oof. Um, let's do this. That way we can start getting the attacks rolling. Uh, okay, got damage meeting on Ray because she healed. Got Ben then. Good. Okay, it's gotta wait on Ray. Annoying, but understandable. Um, let's get that rolling. Let's see if we can burn JTR. Almost, but not quite. Go ahead, ult. Nice, we got Ben killed. Now he's need to knock out Big Ray. Okay, not we weren't able to do it before Ben came back, unfortunately. However, she's dead regardless. Uh oh, she has damaged me. Okay, we'll just go for JTR then. Not max banners, but I'll still take it. Uh, let's deal with their Vader real quick. Got the Shore Trooper Kron. Oh, wow. Okay, so they have stacking. Not stacking. They have the bonus offense. And they inflict extra max health damage whenever they inflict debuffs. And they have extra deflection. Interesting. It's going to be painful then for the Galactic Republic, isn't it? Just because of the fact of the matter that, um... It's gonna be very painful. I know how else to word that statement. I'm like, I don't know where I'm going with this. And Shores, I mean, Shores Datacron is interesting because of the reflecting damage, but I don't really think it's like... The end all be all that, you know, will make or break your teams kind of deal. So... Okay, going immediately for JMK. It's fine. Uh, I'd immediately give him Shin, or how you pronounce it properly. Uh, let's go ahead and leap. Um, let's do this. And then we can heal Mace. Mm. 
We're gonna mini ult because I want Maul out the way. Uh, just throw that over to you. Or not. What did I click on? Oh, it's because we didn't hit it on Shatter Point. That's why the team didn't get flipped. Duh. Forgot about that tidbit. That's my bad. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of Maul. He's gonna ult, of course. We're probably gonna lose Mace in a moment. Because we cannot heal. Like, we literally cannot heal in any sort of the capacity to work. Um. Okay, so we procced that. Let's go give this to Cat. Now the problem is, is getting through uh, Thrawn, Royal Guard, Short Trooper. Can we get Thrawn? Nope. Uh, can we get Royal Guard worked on a little bit? Eh, not really, no. There goes Thrawn. Oh, that hurt a lot. I can't even heal because of the day. Well, I can heal, I mean, uh, all the assist. Oh, cool, I love the flexions. There goes Shore. Now I get through the ever-loving Lord Vader and Royal Guard. Um, I need a healing immunity on Vader. Nice, we landed it. Good. Uh, let's keep going after Vader, I guess, because we have the opportunity. Might as well. Okay, deflection is annoying, but... Not much I can do about that, honestly. Can we get him? We got him. Let's go. Right now he's hitting auto because Royal Guard's all by himself. Alrighty. I wonder if he's going to keep attacking, though, now that I've started attacking. I'd imagine maybe so, but I think he may wait to see what I do to his defenses. Um... Okay, so we have a couple of cross teams here that can cause issues either way. Where is their Darth Revan, first and foremost? You have Sith Empire team with no Darth Revan. Okay, extra deflex deflection and resistance, but where is Revan? Because I don't really see why you would not have a, you know, a team like this with no Revan really make a whole lot of sense. Uh, sure, why not? I have to figure out what I'm going to do against gas, though, because I'm using C here, obviously, so I can't really, well, use C against gas. Skywalker. Alright, we're going to link you. We're going to link her. Could do Star Killer against Gas because we didn't do that against um, Ray, obviously. So we may end up doing that. You know what worries me? Sometimes I look over at OBS and wonder if I hit record or not, or start recording. I sometimes forget I do, and then I panic because you know I start the fights, I start the gack, and I'm like, did I or did I not? <coughs> It will be interesting to see how people do what they do with Bane. Like, if they run him as a leader, or if they run him just with C to make C just an offensive juggernaut, even more so than it is now. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see, huh? <laughs> C. <laughs> uh, because I know I'm, gonna, I'm aiming for Relic 9 on Bane. I know that sounds weird to do because he's an attacker. 
I don't have a follow-up for that statement, but, um... Yeah. We'll give my Seize Relic 8, finally. And eventually I'm gonna want all my this to be Relic 9 regardless, so... I guess might as well do it, right? Um, we're gonna link. Yeah, we'll link these two. These we may be able to get Sass out before she goes stealth. Probably not because of the way the team's rolling. Yeah, definitely not now. But um, yeah. No, no. I was saying I was wondering if Bane's gonna be on defense because just for people to test to see if his leadership's any decent on defense kind of deal. I imagine there'll be some people that actually do that, but I don't know if I will be one of those people. I may be. I just haven't made up my mind, honestly. This depends on how I feel once I get Bane unlocked. Oh. Oh, no, I don't have Star... No, I do have Star Killer. I'm like, no, I used Ray. Sorry, I'm getting the battles all mixed up between the accounts. Ooh, extra tenacity, though. Ooh. That may actually hamper... My Star Killer a little bit. Um, hmm. Making me ponder it. Am I still gonna go forward with it? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Um, <laughs> but it is making me think. It's like, mm, may not actually work. But we do have the Doubt Cron. Yes, I have multiple Krennic Crons because I keep rolling up more Crons because I, if I don't get Doubt on level three, I'm not gonna bother wasting the resources trying to re reroll just at the very bottom to have it potentially go light side and get a roll I don't want. So I push them up to the very top and then then I try to re-roll it into the starting level 3 one I want. If that makes any sort of sense. Hopefully it does. I really need 5 out of here before uh, gas gets back up from nap time. Come on, Star Killer. Thank you. Uh, stun him. Ah. Uh, ooh, maybe. Okay, no turret. Good, 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 good. Yes, I know Rex is still alive, but I'd rather have Rex alive than uh five going around kicking and doing stuff. Stuff. So, seeing down that Star Destroyer. Now we're gonna lose the health and protection we just recovered, but. Yeah. Ooh, maybe not. Because that damage you mean from Anjuhani is really coming in clutch, keeping everyone protected. Good job, Juhani. Alrighty. That went smoothly. Oh, they are attacking. Cool. Alright, so people that are defeated by scoundrels can't be revived. Luckily, it's not the stacking offense roll. We're going to go with the Sith Empire. I know that's kind of risky being used to not knowing what's in the back zone. However, I still have Jabba available. And if needed, I can run that. So, um, yeah. Make of that as you will. So, And also, I didn't know how well Bad Batch would do. I don't want to have them get wrecked and me drop banners because they are attacking. Um... So, it's all a matter of what you want to do kind of deal, you know? It's just so weird to see this guy have Darth Malgus on defense, but without uh, Darth Revan. Seems kind of counterintuitive, to be completely honest with you. So now we can't revive or have Sauna do sauna things, so. I mean, Rolo can still do Rolo things, but, you know. I'd rather have Rolo doing Rolo things than sauna at the moment, so. We also need to get rid of Kara before she gets a buff. Come on, guys, stop hitting like weak noodles. Get your big boy Sith arms out and start doing things. I'll take it. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, so... Whenever they have two buffs that can be dispelled, they have stacking offense. Oh. Oh, we can just do that then. Okay. Damn. 
I thought it'd be tricky for like Chaba to deal with, but apparently not. Alrighty then. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go and lap them out of existence with some thermals. Alright, uh, I know I could have done it on anyone else, but the buff mini will be good for Savage to have thrown on him. Mm, got the hiccups now. Uh, let's do this. Ew, that's annoying. However, he's dead. So he doesn't get to annihilate anyone. Now we can go for Savage, he's Savage. I mean, I really hope with this Phantom Menace stuff we get a Darth Maul rework or something because he desperately needs one. I know everyone's happy about the Gungans, but I just want a Darth Maul rework, man. I'm a simple, simple guy. I'm not hard to please. Just give me a, give me some Sith, give me some Imperial Troopers. I'd be happy for the most part. Can I please get a turn to, like, kill Savage? Or not. Okay. Damn. Okay. Yeah, he's, like, actively attacking now because he's falling behind on points. Okay, so Doubtcron, ooh, extra tenacity and crit damage, and an extra offense, and so it's not even like a super good Dark Trooper Moth Gideon team because you put in the Death Trooper Cron. Okay. Well, whatever, man. Your, your account. Maybe he just hasn't gotten one. Maybe he didn't get one for a lot. Wait, was it this guy or was it my opponent? I don't remember if it was my opponent or Doi's opponent. Who didn't have like a whole bunch of data prompts worked on before lock. Do not remember which account it was. I could probably look at the comparison in the middle of one of these like after I get done with one of these teams, but like yeah, let's go ahead and knock out death. Uh really need to get a poke out on Dark Trooper. Yeah, he is a triple Zeta character, so why didn't my opponent have all the Zetas on Dark Trooper? What the hell? Well, Dark Trooper Moth Gideon, I should say. Not Dark Trooper himself. Dark Trooper only has one Zeta. Uh, let's go ahead and leap. No, oh, I can look at it on my phone. I forgot I have to comp... I don't, have, I don't have to pull up Discord on my computer. I can just literally look at it on my phone. Dummy. Uh, let's see here. I probably could hit auto, but, you know. Eh. Let's do this this way. Smash him down. Okay, so was it... No? Doya's opponent does have Datacrons, or was it mine that doesn't have them? Oh, it's mine that doesn't have, like, the Relic... Not Relic 9, the level 9's worked on. Anyways. Uh... So we've got... Another Saw team. To heal over time. Ooh, protection up. That'll be annoying. And it's Root Roll. Um, we are gonna after it, though. We'll see how she fares against this variation of the uh, Saw team. She should be okay. Not gonna hold my breath though. Not gonna count my eggs before they hatch. Because you never know with Saw Guerrera. This team is a little tricky to contend with, honestly. But the good thing is we get to go first because after. And then we get to do this. Call a droid. We get to torture. And since this isn't a Jabba team, I can immediately start getting assist off with BT, which makes me ever so happy. Oof, they lost Chase really easily. Of course, that constant counterattacking from Baze is ruining my banners, boy. Oh, well, he's dead now anyway, so it doesn't matter. 
Now it's time for poor Chirrut to suffer under the wave of the droid attacks. Well, you didn't see that one coming. Okay, whenever they gain a buff, they recover health and protection. They have crit avoidance. However, this guy is missing a lot of Zetas on this team, so we could probably just get away with... Potentially get away with Aura Bounty Hunters. I'm not really going to say if it'll work 100%, but you know. It'll be great if it does. If it doesn't, then I will just be upset. So, it is what it is. Um, Let's go with some crit avoidance. Sorry, I just want to make sure this is the right Mandalorian team, because there's a variety of Mandalorians, obviously. Mandalorians, bounty hunters. Anyways, there's a variety of bounty hunters you can use, and I wanted to ensure that this was the proper lineup. So, um, let's go after this gen. Awesome. We already have a contract, and they've not taken a turn. Which is rather odd, but okay. Uh, let's go after K2. I do need a turn. There we go. On Voyage. Now we're going to go after Jin. And since Jin doesn't have her... <laughs> uh, not Can't be stunned Zeta. You know, that was kind of on them. The weird thing is, this is Kyber 1 we're in. This isn't, like, Upper Kyber 2. This is Kyber 1. I don't know. I'll probably have a horrible week next week, and I'll be eating my words. So, let's just ha let's live in the moment have fun. Let's do this again. This K2 is kind of annoying, honestly. You won't just die. <laughs> Now you will. I wonder if the 501st can pull this off. Theoretically, maybe? Um, maybe it will, maybe it won't, because with Keller in here, I don't really want to bad batch it. I mean, because Keller doesn't have Zetas. Let's put it out there. But, like, you still don't want to give them too much of an out. So, yeah. The good thing is Anakin wasted his turn doing that big old AoE, so the bad thing is is now I've lost five. Well luckily they went for uh They went for Rex, so bad news. I'm still not back up from that time yet. Okay, good news, we're out. <laughs> Better news, Keller instead, so I don't know how well that would work with a high relic Kellerin though. May end up being really dicey. Uh, and then we're just going to jam L this team. If I can click on the Dadacron and not IG-11. Alright. So, ability blocks. And whenever they critically hit people, they recover health. Alright. I'm going to go with this team. We're going to find Dadacron, hopefully. Sure, why not? The good thing is... I brought in Jedi and Revan to make sure I can get around the taunts on IG-11. We can focus on Vandor first. Let's go ahead and increase your cooldowns, though. Because I don't want you AoE dazing my team out of existence. I don't know how strong my Jedi Cal is going to be as opposed to here on Doya. I probably should, like, look and see... It'll be, like, big of a difference. I imagine it won't be, but, like, you know, who really knows? Um, let's do this. Let's do that. I'm just trying to get, uh, Hondo out next because I don't want him getting captive, thrown back up so he can hide away with his stupid outmaneuver buff. Well, Jojo stopped attacking, so... Maybe he's just waiting for me for the finish the attack? I don't know. 
Okay, so... Okay. Yeah. More... Bounty Hunter shenanigans. Oh, I gotta pull up the... Chimera counter for the... The level ones, because I don't remember what fleet lineup it is. Okay, so not enough assists this time to knock out IG immediately, but okay. How the cookie crumbles. Hmm, we're gonna lose my Y Wing before I even get a chance. Yep. Of course. Of course, we're gonna lose my Y Wing. Because we can't go a full day without this fucking fleet ruining my day and Gak. Thank you for getting out Xanadu. I, I, I applaud your efforts, finally, you stupid rebels. Who's being called, though? Okay, Houndstooth I can deal with. If it had been Boba, I would have been a little bit more annoyed, just because of, you know, Boba having an AoE. So, uh, let's do this. I need to get rid of those debuffs on him. Thank you. Uh, let's do this. Get no assist. Cool, 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 cool. It's not like we're like right on the cusp of getting the ult. Not defining if we... Okay. We got it. I was going to say, that's defining if we are going to get marked and... Uh, well, breached and target locked, not mark. Wrong debuffs. But you know what I meant. Dodging, dodging, cool. Cool, I love dodges. Not. Okay, I only get one of my ships dodge, not theirs. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Alrighty. Uh, Leviathan. Are we gonna have as much issues as I did on my main? I hope not, but... Am I holding my breath? No, not in the slightest. Because... No, I'm not. Uh, let's go ahead and isolate Ray. Because I don't want her getting her stupid... Um, whatchamacallits. Oh, she got him regardless. Cool. Because that's fair. I mean, I guess it makes sense because it's not a buff he is given from the rest of the fleet. It's her own buff she gets, so that makes sense, but... At the same time, a fuck you game. <laughs> a fuck you! Uh, can we get rid of the bomber? No, of course not. We can, can, however, destroy their hangers. So. Goodbye, Ray. Goodbye. Oh, they didn't reinforce. That's disappointing. I was really wanting them to reinforce so I could blow it up. Whatever. Okay, so the Chimera counter this with them, right? Yes, yes it is. Alright. Hmm. Okay, uh... Don't know if that would be the right move, but it's the move we did. It's the move we have to deal with. Okay, so we're gonna probably lose the Scythe. Probably. Heavy assist on the word, probably. Okay, we got rid of their buffs, for now. Let's get rid of Sun. Let's go after their Bomber. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll call it in. Here comes Spy. Yep. Always Spy. Good thing is we can nuke Spy out 
with uh, Thrawn in a second. At least that's the idea, I should say. That is, he gets a turn, like, damn. Oh my god, game, just let me have my turn. Thank you. There we go. Oh, he's attacking all right, but... Has he dropped in battle, so... No, I don't think he has. No, he is not. He's got a small uphill battle, but I bet he can full clear pretty easily. But I guess we will see, huh? Well, that didn't take long for JoJo to get done, because he finally... Who cleared Doya over here and lost uh, 1826 to 1805. I don't think they dropped a single fight, honestly, which is, you know, fair. But, hey, they put up a good effort, man. Good on them for trying, but, uh, yeah, they definitely they didn't drop a single thing. But, oh, well, I'll take it. Whatever it is, what it is. Uh, anyways, if y'all enjoyed, don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. I hope you have a good rest of your day.